Hello Libras, I'm Christy, you're watching Tiny Turtle Tarot and this is your reading for the week ahead. As always, if anything I say resonates or you feel it will in the future, please let me know by liking and subscribing. Let's get on with your reading. What's happening for the beautiful Libras this week? You've got the Strength card, the King of Wands reversed, the King of Pentacles upright. And the Ace of Swords reversed. So I'll talk you through these, then I'll clarify. Um, basically, the Strength card is about mental grit, emotional strength, as well as physical strength. Just overall, you're feeling very solid this week. King of Wands reversed. Also, it's on the inside. So others, I don't know why I'm getting this. Others are going to be questioning, like, how are you doing, Libra? Or they're going to be a little bit concerned about you. And you'll be like better than I've ever been I'm just not pretending like there's something in the past where you pretended to be strong and on the outside you looked very strong on the inside you didn't feel it and now you've kind of reversed that and on the outside you may look less like you're not putting a mask on basically you're not trying to look all tough all the time because on the inside you're extremely strong you're not bothered if you don't look perfect you're not bothered if you don't look strong because you can feel your strength and that's more important it feels like you've done a complete 180 king of pentacles upright is very good also you're very stable when it comes to your career and your money is like um if it's not money it's your time something you have a lot of value on you are going to be rich in that this week so whatever it is you put on a pedestal whatever it is you value in the world um I don't know why I said put on a pedestal, weird, but you're going to be rich in it. You're going to be rolling in time. You're going to have so much time on your hand. You're going to have so much, like, it feels very much like a very good week already. Ace of Swords reversed. There is a little bit of lack of clarity. However, I feel like this is a good thing. It feels as if maybe if you're someone that's very black and white, likes to know what's going on, this week's going to be a bit more blurry. A bit like, oh, what's actually happening? try to embrace the unknown because it feels like a positive thing that things aren't laid out in black and white for a change if your schedule is usually very much strict you've got like a little bit of freedom embrace it uh clarify the strength card devil upright the devil is sometimes your ego and i feel like with the strength card here you're taming your ego because i'm just looking at how she's holding on to that lion Instead of you, like, taming that lion, you're taming your, that ego inside you that's like, do this, Libra, do that. Or it could be an addiction, right? There's something here where you're in control of it. You're in charge. It feels very good. And like I said, if there is something you're struggling with, other people are going to be, like, questioning. And it's actually, you're stronger than ever. You're just not pretending. Like, some of you, I'm really seeing you, but don't take this... Don't hang on to this tightly, but I'm seeing you, like, shedding a few tears this week. But they're, like, happy tears, or they're released tears. They're tears that need to be shed. Either way, whatever they're for. But others are going to be like, oh, is Libra okay? Like, what's going on? And you're like, I am amazing. I'm having a breakthrough. I'm having, um, like, you're having a breakthrough, and other people think you're having a breakdown. But you're not bothered, and past you would have gone and secretly hidden and cried or something. Whereas this version of you, you're like, I don't really care what they think. I need to let these tears out as soon as possible. Um, and yeah, I don't think it's anything bad. I don't think it's just like a whole crowd of people, but there might just be one or two people that see you and it just seems like you're like, I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered anymore. My ego slightly would care, but I'm not attached anymore to other people's perceptions of me because I like who I am. And they don't understand how much I'm going through or have been through to get to this point. I'm going to clarify King of Wands reversed. Hierophant reversed. It also feels like um, some of you are taking things day by day is the energy I'm getting from this. Because Hierophant upright is commitment long term things. Whereas with that reversed and the King of Wands reversed it might feel like um, whatever it is you're going through or are healing from right now. You're taking things one step at a time, one day at a time, one minute at a time, one hour at a time, and it's really good for you to be doing it like that. Like I feel like that's um 
a very healthy way of coping with whatever you're going through. Clarify the King of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. Hmm. Some of you have a passion project. Um, or you're going to, and it's going to be funded because... Funded? Weird. It's going to be, um... It's going to happen. Some of you are, um, like, imagining or conjuring up... A, a dream or something? Um, a wish, or a career, something you would want to succeed in, but you don't have the time because of work or something. And you're not seeing right now. You are going to have some... There's... Mm, can't speak. Things are going to turn around to the point where you can actually make money or make an income doing something that you're very passionate about. And even though it's not about that, you just want the freedom or the time to be able to do it, you're going to have it. You're going to have the resources to do what you want to do. And I feel like this week's going to be very fundamental in that. Um, some of you, I don't know how it's going to come about, but it's going to come about in the strangest of ways. Clarify the Ace of Swords reverse. Temperance, yeah, that's good because I saw the Ace of Swords reversed and was like, this is actually a good thing. And then you've got Temperance, which is healing and harmony. And I feel like it's coming into harmony. Like I said, if things have been very black and white and clear to you, of like laid out to you what you're supposed to be doing at what time, it's going to be a little bit blurry, it's going to be a little bit confusing. You're not really sure what you're purposes this week or you're not really so sure what the goal is this week embrace it embrace not knowing because it's balancing you out you've been through a time where you were told what to do or you knew what you had to do and now you're getting contrast to that and it's the universe's way of like balancing things and bringing things back into harmony um almost like over the top you had over the top um rules and regulations or something and now you've got none and it's just trying to bring you into a little bit more balance basically i don't know what it's about some of you is also in a partnership if in a relationship in the past if it was toxic with that devil card um and you had like rules or someone was very very um harsh in that way i don't know what it's about it's very unhealthy basically um you're coming into a partnership now is the complete opposite and it's absolute freedom and you're like whoa this is different, but it's supposed to be that way. It's, you're supposed to be free. Um, I'm going to wrap your reading up here. Thank you so much for watching. If anything I said resonated or you feel it's going to, please let me know by liking and subscribing. And I'll see you next Tuesday for Tiny Little Tarot Tuesdays.